this is Sam speaking, and I am like optimizing the Witcher a little bit. Oh, really bad moment to start the video. Bear time. I don't want you, Bear. Let's go maybe to the pause menu. As you can see, we have the Witcher running here on a laptop GPU with full ray tracing and high settings and we can get away with 30 fps so like that's the trade-off it's pretty much basically the same thing as with ps5 and the next gen consoles it's like either ray tracing features disabled and 60 fps flat but also on a reduced um, resolution or using DLSS or FSR 2.0 or 30 FPS with the full blown feature set minus hair works. We have to, because hair works is so heavy uh, that it's a concession that has to be made. But other than that, you can see that we have global illumination, reflections, shadows, and ambient occlusion activated. Uh, of course, we use performance mode because, yeah, can't get away with quality, I believe. And then low sharpening and no motion blur, no blur. And then, well, maybe let's let's try motion blur on for just a moment. But with the low frame rates before, it was horrible. They're all the all the good effects, no hair works as mentioned, and then high settings. So, this is on a 3060 with a 5700H on the Zephyros Pro Duo from Asus. So, I think that's really impressive for a laptop. Um, as far as I can tell, stable 30 are achievable and just look at the vegetation and everything, I mean, Yes, it does not look as good. Oh, it's so smeary, the motion blur. Not sure. I'm gonna keep it on for just a moment. Look, this looks just incredible if you ask me, okay? Like, especially like if you're going somewhere to a, a more like a, like a vista or something like that. Maybe we should go somewhere, travel somewhere. Um, it just looks incredible. I mean, this is bomb looking, if you ask me. That looks like a fully modded Witcher, and actually it is a fully modded Witcher, uh, with the added ray tracing, um, you know, with the added texture, textures and improvements. It just looks finger licking good. Um, yeah, incredible, incredible. And they hired some work of some models which i also think is cool and they are even mentioned in the credit role which is great but okay yeah let's look at this i wanted to see that ray traced reflections yeah baby um it's it's 1080p on performance dlss so no question about it you know native would be great but we're talking about a laptop gpu here Yeah, it's it's it would be a question like with how much can we get away? So okay, let's let's go on. It, it, there's actually the problem is there is really no space. There is no space. Um, we would have to make concessions in order to to get to to that ultra level. I mean, okay, let's let's just unlock the frame rate for a second and okay we know now how the game runs just fine hello game where are you oh now you want to switch monitor okay interesting well 
let's switch back to the first one. Sorry for the interruption here, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna keep it like that. And then video display. Let's unlimit it for a moment. Yes. And then, I mean, let's go a couple of routes. Graphics, ultra performance. DLSS, of course, is a potential route, but we're really getting into, like, you know, very artifacty territory here. That is for sure. So, ultra performance it is. Let's see how much gain that gives us. It gives us a good 10 12 FPS, but god damn it, the trees don't look nice. And overall, it's it's a 1440p monitor anyway that I'm using here. So, it looks really, really artifacty. And you're getting a 40, so you're getting 10 frames increase. Is that worth, you know, what happens? Okay, let's, let's see. I'm gonna blow up the graphics to to ultra, yeah? And we're gonna see how much we lose. I mean, that shouldn't do anything. Shadow quality, ultra, 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 ultra. I don't think that this will go well, but nevertheless, ultra, ultra. Where will we end up? Okay, only 4 FPS difference. Ah, okay, but now it's dropping, yeah. It, it goes down into like the 30 territory. Like, you could... You could maybe get away with... Um, with capping that at 30 and calling it a day. But do you really want, you know, like, that much artificial frame generation from the LSS? I mean, it still looks good, but if you look in the distance, I mean, that's just like... That's... How to say? Meshed trees. Um, so, not sure if that is a good idea. Let's go back on the DLSS. And just stress test a bit. Ultra performance. Okay, let's go for actually, let's go for FSR2. Yeah? Let's try that and see how much that gives us. Let's go to balanced FSR2. Ultra performance, performance, balanced. Let's. Hello? Balanced. Oh. Oh, wait. Ah, no. No. Hmm. Do the trees just look like this here? Doesn't matter on what. Yeah. Balance doesn't look as too good and gives us also... Doesn't cut it. So then let's go to... Performance. Yeah, performance gets you closer to the 30 mark, but it's oh, it's still very much in the in the lows. So then FSR, not not a great thing, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, we will have to go for the LSS for sure. And then we will try now to run Ultra in. Yeah, of course that doesn't really work. Okay, so then from here, let's go to the bottleneck. Okay, it's now it's in 30 territory. So water gives us below 30. Let's... Let's draw back two things, yeah, as a start. Water. And shadow. Uh, 
and texture quality. Yeah, let's see, like mixed setting. Yeah, you see, we end up above, above 30, 35, 36. Let's lock that at 30 for a second. Oops, sorry. It's, it's it's still not satisfactory, unfortunately. 27, 29. Okay, what happens if we go to tur turbo? Okay, I just switched the laptop into like a higher fan profile. Let's see if. Hello, game. Let's see if this gets us above the finish line. It's it's still not getting us above the finish line. So what can we do? Yeah, here we can't do very much at all. And here don't want to go below performance. I, I, I tend to want to deactivate it. Yeah, so I was right in the first place, seems like it. Um, you have to deal with high settings here. Hello, okay. If we put it on high, come on, why is it now worse than before? Hmm. I tend to think that's again like that's this bug with the controller, uh, with the screen, sorry. Because we did come out at plus 30 before on on high, so there is something broken here. I still recommend DLSS performance mixed with high settings should do the trick. Okay guys, I hope it helped a little bit. And I see you guys in the next one. Cheerio!